What is going on guys? Scooby-Doo here with Fort Misery Gaming to bring you another video on the channel. And this is our first video on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. If you guys can see, this is a brand new game for the channel. And long story short, we actually just got into this game to actually, yes, last late last night. And uh, was up till pretty late playing this, grinding this out, figuring out the ins and outs of this game. And I want to thank my boy Jurassic Impact, Josh over there at, on his channel for getting into this game. I've been watching his live streams and the game seems really cool. It is very free to play friendly. But on that note, I am going to be spending a little bit of money today on this just to get something started for the channel. We're going to be able to do um, pack openings. And they actually have, um, if we go to our little shop here, they actually have a really cool setup with... Um, you can, they, I think they really cater free to play or very light, very, very light pay to play. And this deal here is what I'm talking about 10 packs and a super rare for $5.99. So normally you just get five packs and 10 gems, or I'm sorry, 10, 10 packs, sorry, 10 packs and a free super rare um, one time. And it's normally that's 50% off of what the normal price is in the store plus a free super rare. So, and we're going to be able to do that for each set as far as I know. I'm pretty sure each of those has that deal. Yep, one there, and let's look at Neo Impact. This is the important one. Neo Impact is the one we really want to pull from. Yep, they all have them. So, all right, we're gonna start actually with the second set, meaning because from what I've been told, the second set's kind of the worst set. It's very mono theme based, unless you're playing Mako. From what I've heard is it's not very good. Um, and it looks like it's a much smaller set. There's only two ultra rares in the whole set which is the Leviathan Dragon, and he's actually really, really good if you're playing Mako um, in Misery, which is a really good removal spell. Um, and then what do we have for Super Rares? We have Piercing Moray. Uh, whoops, sorry. Piercing Moray, Unfriendly Amazon, offer one year Monster to Feel Tribute. Okay, uh, Needle Sunfish. So he's another theme card. We got Yomi Ship. When the card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, destroy it. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's actually, you can burn that in any deck. Um, and you can send this face special summon one from your hand. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can send this face up card you control to the, okay. So he has to stay alive though, so that can be kind of tricky. Um, shuffle two wire monsters in, from, from your hand into your deck, then draw three cards. That's cool, making me really want to play water, actually. <laughs> oh, man. And then Cost Down. Cost Down's a good card. I, I can be down with Cost Down. So, all right. Well, we'll get into this one first, and we'll be right back once. All right, and we're back, guys. Sorry, the time you buy, it actually goes right into the pack opening, so I can't, like, buy something like dragon stones or pearls and then go to the summoning to open it otherwise i would have bought all everything in advance but because of this special deal because it gives you the packs right away it automatically procs you to to pulling so anyway but so this is the one of age of discovery so we're doing this one first Let's see what we get all right we got fairy guardian the first star boy guardian of the throne all right a lot of those look familiar actually because i actually used to play this game back when the original card game came out. So, Star, Star Boy, Grove Illusion. Sui Jin, all right. That's not bad. During the damage calculation, this card is being attacked. You can target the attacking, you can target the attacking monster, make that target's attack zero. This is a quick effect. This effect can only be used while this card is face up on the field. This card is being attacked, you can target monster make that targets attack to zero okay only this is a quick play effect you can only use this while this card's face up on the field all right i'll have to figure out what that really means <laughs> i'll probably try it out though seems good might be switching to a mako deck as soon as i unlock him all right and okay rcl summoner flip add one guardian from your deck to your hand, except the Celtic Guardian when you drag into the fortress. Okay. So you can't use certain things, so I guess I'll have to see what guardians you can use. Alright, we have a triple curry though. Big curry though. Alright, no no animations, so I don't know what we'll get here. Uh so Sea Lord's Amulet. 
Silent Abyss, and Numinous here. You can only activate this card when you take life damage to your life points. Increase your life points by 1,000. Also increase your lights by 500 for each Numinous healer. Okay, that's not too bad. But it's not continuous, though. We got another Triple Karibo. Can we, can we get Hieroglyphics? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Gorgo, Illusion, Sea Lord's Amulet again, and another Guardian Throne. Alright. I think this is number, this is five or six, so not doing too well in this set. Uh, Piranha Army, Kazagen, wow, we're getting close to Gate Guardian. I believe Gate Guardian's bought in the, um, in the shop. You can target the attacking monster, make that target attacks zero during damage calculation. Okay. I can't remember exactly what they all did. Another triple Karibo. All right, we got Gold Heart Gold Fix this time. We got Yugi. No BAM, though, so we might get an Ultra Air. Gorgo the Illusion. We got a Super Rare Yomi ship. I will take that. That's uh, Even if I don't want to use this on a um, on a Mono Water team, I can use this on any, on any generic team because when he's destroyed in battle, you destroy the monster card as well, so he literally can kill anything in the game. So, and you can even, I believe you can even use him as a blocker, too. I think that's what he said. I'll look at, I'll look at it again to verify that. All right, we got Prawn Army again. Another Sea Lord Amulet. That's very, very common, it seems. Um, and destroy all face of water monsters you control. You can special summon a water monster to your hand up to the number. Hmm. I wonder if that gets around summoning sickness. If that is the case, that's a pretty good card. I mean, situational, obviously, because this game is speed format where you don't have five slots and you only have 30 card decks, but or 25 card decks, actually. All right, so we have Grass Phantom, Devonic Burnham. I've seen that card used a lot in Attack and Receive. Okay, nothing too great there. Triple Karibo. But honestly, this is the set I would rather not get Ultra Rares in. Neo Impact is definitely the one on Ultra Rares in. So, all right, we got Armor Circle, Overwhelm, and another Kazagen. All right, they're trying to tell me I should play Gate Guardian, I guess. All right. So, I, did they show us the super rare? I don't. It's probably in our gift box then, I would assume. Yeah, that is awesome. So you can literally destroy it by battle. That is awesome. I mean, I'll, I'll make sure, but I'm 99% sure that, that it, you can do it that way. So, that's sweet. Very, very awesome. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, I didn't even... Okay, so I'm such a new because I literally just started playing yesterday, but I guess you can... Oh wow, you can see so you can sell all your crap cards and get gold. That is dope. That is dope. I'm gonna be I'm gonna have a lot to do. Um, unfortunately I'm going on vacation and I won't have anything for a long time. Confirm guarantee oh here we go. Confirm guaranteed S Oh okay, we got the red eyed dragon. Okay, there you go. Nice. Alright. The baby the baby red eyes that gives you a free red eyes. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. So, yeah, it definitely doesn't make me want to pull more on this set, to be honest. Um, even though it would be cool to get that that Sangha, but I don't want to get Guardian anyway right now, so it doesn't even really matter. So we'll be going on to the other sets, so just uh, stand by, guys, and we will be right back. And we're back, guys. Now we're back. We're doing the base set, so the Ultimate Rising. So the blue eyes set. So let's see what we can do. We got 10 packs here. Let's get at it. Alright, let's see gets past the treasures, Restructor Revolution, and Fulfillment of the Contracts. Oh, cool! I actually run, uh, I run Crab Turtle, and it's pretty consistent, so that's probably my balance, my overall Yugi deck. I'm probably gonna run that, actually. That's pretty cool, I like that. Alright, Restrictor Revolution, Ear of the Water Charmer. And another Veen Onim. I wouldn't run more than two, so won't, that's not really relevant. All right, we got Triple Karibo. All right, we got Elegant Magician, Guardian Bio, another Mask of Dispel. All right, still another 139 packs total to get from this set. All right, we got Yugi coming out here by himself, no Karibo. So we got Faith Bird, Red Skull Bird, and White Elephant's Gift. So still nothing too great. That draw card isn't very good. Alright, no, I think there was just one creeper. Bite Shoes, Noxious Prayer, 
and Twin Swords of Flashing Trice. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Equip this card to a monster. It loses 500 attack, but it can be given now. It's pretty bad. All right, Triple Kuribo. Big Kuribo. Come on, Yugi. Show up. No. All right, good. Hieroglyphics. Yugi. Can I get a BAM? No BAM. All right. Uh, it's a magic card at the back. I don't know what it's going to be. All right. Sasamara. Monster card should be for original summon to return the owner's deck instead of being in the graveyard. All right. It is a super rare Makio. Target one summon skull or thunder type monster you control. Destroy, destroy all of their monsters. Your opponent controls with defense less than or equal to the attack monster. To the attack of that monster. You cannot conduct... You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate. Okay, so unless I have a Thunder Base or Summon Skull, it's not relevant though. Uh, Triple Karibo, Oh Man Rainbow. Come on, this has got to be a BAM. No, not a BAM still. Oh my gosh. Fortress Whale, Yamanaka. Mark, Mask of the Accursed. Alright, I will take that. That card is great. Card is awesome. Spellbinding Circle with 500 points of damage. Um, on a magic card. Alright, we got Blue Hieroglyphic, no Karibo, I believe. We got Raging Aura, Meteoran, and a Dragon Zombie. I'll take the Dragon Zombie. I need more 1600 attackers. Alright, we got Triple Karibo, no Hieroglyphics, Raging Aura, Faith Bird, and Trap Jammer. Alright, one Karibo this time. No Hieroglyphics, so this probably will be a rare. Guardian Bio, Skull Guardian, and Hero the Fire Charmer. I have tons of her. That's it, apparently. Wow. Alright, well, we got, for our super rares, we got the Makiyu of the Mage. We got Mask of the Accursed. Mask of the Accursed is probably one of the better super rares, so I'm okay with that. So let's see what our guaranteed super rare is here, gonna be here. Bam. Another Makiyu of the Magical Mist. Alright, well, I gotta get a Summon Skull first, so... That kind of sucks, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Um, all right, so now we are going to go into this. This is actually going to be the very first 10 packs I've not opened from Neo Impact yet. So let's give us some good luck, guys. I hope we can pull um, Kaiser Seahorse. That's the card I really want to pull from that set. So we'll be right back, guys. All right, and we're back, guys. So we got 10 packs from Neo Impact plus the free Super Rare. Their Super Rares are actually really good in this set. So this is probably the best set overall. I think, but all right, we got a magical merchant, the beginning of the end, and release the restraint lay target one face up equip spell card you control, destroy the equip card and all face down spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Okay, very situational. All right, pack number two magical merchants, pixie knight, and kukong on the awaken. All right. One Karibo. What can we get? Any, we haven't gotten any Ultra Rares. Just so you guys are aware. No Ultra Rares at all from any of the sets. Kind of sucks. Painful Escape. Fairy of the Spring. Alright. Target one Eclipse. Add the target to your hand. Any Eclipse spell card cannot be activated this turn. Okay. Alright. What do we got now? Inside Arc. Earfax Flower, the Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler, select one signal from the graveyard, remove. Remove from play monsters on your side of the field whose total levels equal exactly the level. Okay. And then Shadow Slayer. Alright. If I pull a Summon Skull or a really good Fiend, then I could probably make a decent Fiend deck. Alright, we got Triple Kribo and Gold Hieroglyphics. No UV though. Probably not gonna be good. Kick Fire. Patrol Robo. Oh, no way! Oh, my God! Oh! People are going to rage so hard at me now. Oh, my God. This card is ridiculous. Oh, my God. I on I cannot be mad at all. I cannot be mad at all. This That was, like, the card from the set. That and Kaiser Seahorse. Oh, my God. That, like, that makes you half tempted to want to reset the box. To pull another one. Oh, man. High Tide on Fire Island. Milius Radiant. Oh, I think I remember playing with this card. As long as this card is face on the field in case the attack. Okay, he's not good, but I remember seeing him back in the day. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's awesome. Mirror Wall. Such a pro card. All right, one Karibo. We got gold again. And Yugi showed up. What can we get? What upon Arcane Archer. Magician Circle. 
When a spellcaster type monster declares an attack, each player special summons one spellcaster monster with 2,000 or less from their deck. Oh my god, that's crazy. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. So, when you run spellcasters, that thing's crazy. Wow. Alright. I might be loading up with a couple more Dark Magicians in the Yugi deck. Alright. What upon again? Tree uniform Montclair. We got a Machine King. All right, he's decent. I mean, he's he's a very good generic 2200 attacker, and you know when more machines get introduced in the game, he'll be decent. So that's awesome. All right, one Karibo, no other animation. Emissary of the Oasis, Champlain of Outlaw, and Beckling Light. All right, this might be the last one. All right, just a single Karibo again. Dorio's Blessing, Dragon Seeker. There's Norse Silver Flip, so I'm just for one face up dragon monster on the field. Yeah, he's good. I like him. Regardless. Oh, yeah, and he's a fiend, too. Oh, that's dope. Violin Charger. All face up light monsters you control gain 300 attack for each equipped monster. Wow, we got, I got so much more formatting to do for this. For whatever my, my go to deck is going to be. This is crazy. Wow. Alright, so let's see what the guaranteed SR card is going to be from this set. And Shooting Star Blow Seal. The equipped monster loses 1,000 attack, but it can attack your opponent directly. Okay. And it's continuous. Alright. Not what I really would have wanted, but, well, let's see what we can do with this. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, let's edit. I think I'm just going to start from scratch here and, um, and go from there, to be honest. Um, I mean, I guess we'll keep these guys in for now, but yeah, we'll get rid of, like, everything else, pretty much. Oh, actually, or should I just go to, yeah, let's just do a new deck slot. Exit without saving. Alright, so this deck here, here we go. Edit. Alright, so, let's first sort by traps. So we for sure want Mirror Wall. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to put that Magician Circle in too. Beckling Light, discard your entire hand. For each card you use cards, so the bigger ones. I will add one Light Monster from the back to your hand. That's actually really good. If I had a Light, I don't have enough Light cards though. I don't have like um, any of the staple ones yet. So, um, do 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 do. Attack and receive, overwhelming this hero. My force sword. We'll put a magic jammer in there. It's a pretty good card still. Um, we're gonna pass on that one. Reinforcements, and we'll put magic arm shield too. So I think those will be our traps. Four. I think that's about good. All right, now let's go to spells. Go off of traps. All right. So this one was. You can attack directly. We're definitely playing Mask of the Curse. Unfortunately, I think this card said, yeah, or Thunder-type monster you control. I don't think I have a lot of Thunder-type monsters, so we're going to hold off on that for a little bit. That card's good, too. I think I'm going to make a Fiend deck. <laughs> I think, but I don't have some... i got to see if Summon Skull's even in this game yet. I don't know if he is yet. I didn't, I didn't see, I don't know what rarity is, if he is. Because if he is, I think I'm going to go hard for him um, in whatever set, so I'm going to have to look that up. I'll look that up before we go off camera today. Eh? Alright, um, what else do we have here? Rami, Thunder Crush. That's not good either. That's the Dark Magician thing. Fortress Whale that's for normal launchers, we don't need that. I don't think I'm gonna keep those equipments in anymore. We'll keep that. We'll keep one of the Wonder Balloons in still. Um Banner Charge. Do, 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 do. So we'll go and we'll keep the turtle O's in for now, and if we have to take them out, we will. Let's see if we have room for everything. And like we did not get many fusions, so fusion gate will not be relevant either. So we have space for it looks like uh, 2 plus 15. Yeah, so 17. So we can put 17 creatures in. 
That's pretty good balance. Four spells, four traps, and then, um, yeah, I like that. And let's see what we can do with creatures now. Alright. So that we only got one of, right? So we don't, we can't run him yet. So let's hold off on those guys as well for a little bit. First, we gotta put our dark conditions in, so let's go to them first. Oh yeah, let's go off of spells. That way we don't get too much crap going on here. Alright, um... Those are double summons, so I don't know if I want to run those. Especially as Dark Magician is a double as well. I don't think any of them are spellcasters. So we're definitely running the girl, one of her. Where's Dark Magician? We should have two, one of each of those arts to use here. Uh, there's, yeah, that Dark Magician. And then we should have the promo one that we started with. Yep, alright, cool. Alright, so now we're at 11 total cards in the deck, so... Let's see what else we can work with. Alright, so we're gonna run both dragon zombies, obviously. It sucks me to get any 1700 four stars still. That's what we, we really lack the early game in this deck. Yeah, Sonic Bird's awesome. I love that card. I just realized he's an ultra. I thought he was a super rare, but that makes sense because his counterpart is um, the Kazi, the, whatever the uh, the guy with the Senju, the guy with the hands is, is one as well, so that makes sense. That he's an ultra rare. Alright, so, no, nope, don't want any of those. Curse of Dragon, nope, we're good there. How many four stars do we have right now? We have like zero, we have three. So we need definitely a load up a lot more in those. So we'll run one Ladybug. I like running that as a one of. It's pretty good. Situational, but it can be really good. Alright, so we gotta put two of the Crab Turtles in for a ritual. That's probably all the end game we can afford. We gotta probably go to all six stars after this. Yeah, he's there these guys aren't even guardians. They're just uh they're elements, I think. Kazudin is the same right. Ha oh my god. Kazudin is a spellcaster? Holy shit, man. Oh I might run one of each. We'll have to see. I mean I'll probably I can do some testing for sure. Alright, so we can run two of you, because we need power for our four stars. Yeah, definitely not running that. Add one guardian from your deck to your hand, except... And it's a spellcaster, too. So, spellcaster 1600, 1600, I mean, you can't go wrong really there. So, so I'll have to see... So I guess we could, f let's filter by, um, yeah, so we'll go to, so we want Guardian. Is there a type for Guardian? Card type, Ritual, Dragon Fiend, Sea Serpent, Merchant. I don't see Guardian. So, okay, let's go to this card. So it says, add one guardian from your deck to your hand, except Celtic Guardian, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress 2, Guardian of the Labyrinth, or Reliable Guardian. So, I guess it has to have the main guardian in it, which makes this really annoying to look at. This is kind of really ridiculous. Uh, Charmer, Whale, Faithbird, Charmer... Yeah, that's a red bird. Oh, there's a fairy guardian. Uh, what did it do again? Hold on. Offer this face-up card as a tribute to return one spell card sent to your graveyard by your opponent during this turn following your deck. That's not really good, so we're going to take that out. It's not worth it. Uh, it's really annoying. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. He's a 1654 star that has Guardian in its name. Done. Done, done, done. 1650. That's actually my highest ranked 4 star right now. That's that's actually pretty cool. I like that. So he's too durable too. That's great. Oh, Yomi Ship. Oh yeah, we definitely want to run that. That card is that card's awesome. That card is sweet. Auto kills stuff and you can block with it. You should be able to block with it. I just I'll confirm using it in battle, but it should do that. Oh, he's a fiend. Okay. He is a fiend. That's cool. That is a dragon, I would assume. Yeah. 
Uh, we need more guardians. Walk through flow. Take control of one light monster your opponent controls while this card is. Holy, that's I like that. And it's a spellcaster. Take control of one light monster your opponent controls while this card is facing. Oh, but it's okay. Light monster, right, right, right. So never mind. Super situational. All right, we have two slots left. Um, how many creatures do we have? Then we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13 creatures, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 4 stars. So that's a lot of 4 stars. So I think we can. We'll, we're going to run one Kazajin since he's a spellcaster. And we'll run. We probably can do one more big drop, I guess. If, we, if there's something really good to run. Or we might just run another four star just to be safe. Because I really don't have anything that's like super important that would really put me over the top. And that's a lot of end game. There's Crab Turtle, Dark Magician Girl. There's Kazajin, Double Dark Magician. I guess that isn't too much end game. I guess I should do one more, right? Because if you have 10 four stars, that's more than a fourth year deck of four stars. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, there's eleven actually. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's eleven. Yeah. So let's do. I guess do we do two cosmogens? I don't have. I don't think I have a. Let's filter by spellcaster. I want to see if I have a one tribute one. That's a five star. That's a five star. Yeah. These are all crappy though. Yeah, that's pretty crappy. That's a five star. Yeah, they're all pretty crappy. Yeah. One water monster, especially some one water monster from their hand, especially some of the hmm. Yeah, I don't have good water stuff yet, so I can't use them either. There's a Shura. You can try one and switch the one that's for your hand. Nope. That's not good either. Because I they're all dark pretty much. Dark and wind. What else? I guess I could go to a magic card, I guess. Let's try that. See if there's something else. Six. Yeah, take, take that off. Filter. Um, let's see here. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Masco Dispel. This is for fiends. Yeah, let's do that. Virtual monster. Because I still have, I still am running um, balloons, right? Yep. Yeah. So I can discard my ritual monsters and then use that to get back. So pretty sure you can. We'll see. <laughs> so let's save this deck. Save this deck. Yep. Yep, using is active. All right, cool, cool. Well, I'm excited to use this. I'm gonna do. I'm actually. I'm actually right about to rank up, so I'm gonna be using this deck and trying this out, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video, um, and uh, I hope we'll see you guys in the next one. I'll be firing up, obviously, some more of this stuff to to do that. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go more in a new impact or if I'm gonna go back into. I might go back into the first set just to try to finish that set up as much as I can. Um, I still I still do need a couple more cards. Actually, oh, we are going to look to see if someone's skull was in any of these sets. So that will significantly, significantly um, change, my, change my view and everything. So I still want that regen card. I want the Axe Raider. Actually, I, I mean, I honestly want all these cards. Like, they're all really good. I actually got probably some of the worst Ultra Rares, to be honest. Um, Sonic Bird's really good, but a lot of the, the Magical Arm Shield is good, but like Fusion Gate I don't use, Magic Jammer, it's good, but it's been really situational for me, so. Alright, so there's Mask of the Curse, Twister Reinforcements, there is, okay, Crab Turtle, I do not see him in this set, because he's a normal monster, Summon Skull is. Some of the skulls in normal monster, yep. So there's nothing there. Alright, it's not in that set. I would assume he wouldn't be in this set, because he's not water. He's like the opposite of water, he's like a thunder type. 
so, um, and this set is super small too. I uh, do not see him again. Nope, he's not in the set either. All right, so let's see. If he's a new impact. So it's weird they would make a card and summon like that's that's that says summon skull and he's not in the set. And he was in the second set too, so that's really strange. Just in circle. <clears throat> I guess I could put Dragon Seeker in if I, if I, yeah, I could make a change like that. Run Dragon Seeker because like anyone that runs dragons, he's really, really strong. Yeah, I don't see Summon Skull because he's a normal monster. Yeah, he's not in the game yet. That's really weird. Oh well. At any rate, guys, that's gonna be the video. Hope you guys enjoy. We will see you guys in the next video. Um, if you guys have any questions, anything like that, please, please let us know. We definitely would, uh, we definitely would love to see you guys in the next video, and we'll, we'll catch you guys in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, or Dokkan Battle, or Naruto Boys, and whatever you guys play. We definitely love to create content for you guys, and definitely let us know how you guys are doing in this game if you are playing it or Dokkan Battle, whatever else is going on. I know Dokkan and Naruto is kind of slow right now, so. It was kind of cool to pick this up over the weekend. So anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.